Yo, everyone, I'll live back. I apologize for the long delay, but let's get right into it. These are your talents on the screen. Uh, you'll go uh, 29, you'll finish Frost Channeling, uh, 30 Ice Block, 31, 32 Piercing Ice, um, 33 through 35 Imp Carve Cold, 36 through 39 Imp Frost Bolt, 40 Ice Barrier, 41 and 42 is going to be Arcane Subtlety, 2 out of 2. Uh, the alternate spec you can do is on the right, the Shatter combo spec with uh, Shatter and um, I think it's, what is it, Ice Shards? But anyways, to the to the beans, baby. Uh, we're going to go to Azure Load Mine at 28, 29. You can go at like 26, 27, but I recommend you go at 28 just to make it easy. Um, they're higher level mobs, they do more damage, they have more health. But yeah, uh, the only guy you have to worry about inside the cave is Foreman Bonds, level 30. He's got Hammer of Justice, super annoying. Um, to start out, I like to pull all these sentries outside first. I can't, I'm on my level 60 mage. I, I don't have time to level another mage and make all these videos. So this is the best I can do. But yeah, you want to pull all these uh, sentries. It's a lot easier to pull all of them and keep them in combat. Uh, as the as the lower level as the recommended level because you can body pull on um, the second pull I'll pull like half of this hallway here um, And then AOE them back towards the entrance I'll go further in and this entire room you see in front of us right now. I'll make into one pull and um, The same for this small area. It's pretty much one pull you blink to the back of the room frost over them AOE them back up uh, after that pull you'll jump down gather all these guys this is where the foreman bonds guy is on the stage there um, just try and avoid him if he aggros try and throw him in a sheep um, but yeah anyways as you're in here you, you can just make your own pulls whatever feels comfortable um, this small room I like to make one pull it, it was harder to actually pull all of them without body pulling some of them but You'll make it your own. You'll figure it out. you probably die a few times in the process, but once you get it down, it's pretty simple. It's really, really fucking good area. Um, the only thing that'll probably kill you besides bad pulls is camera angles. Um, all the shafts in the mine like to change your camera angles, so just try and be aware of all that type of stuff. Uh, on to the next place. It's going to be the Yeti Cave, not even far. So you're going Hillsbrad Fields, Azure Load Mine, Yeti Cave. This is all back-to-back -back on the same zone. I uh, recommend you go there at level 30. You can do it at 29, mobs 30 to 31. Uh, cave Yetis, super easy. They don't have frost resistance. You don't have to worry about it. Um, I think when they get low health, they kind of like do some type of enraged type of thing. Uh, the first pull, I like to pull all of these outside. I think there's six total. One of them wasn't spawned yet, but um, yeah, you just pull all of them, AOE them down, and then I like to... Um, once you go into the cave, I like to go to the right first and pull all the um, the guys up up top to the right as one pull. Uh, one might reset if you try and go all the way back to the back. That's fine. It's whatever you can, you know, bring them into your next pull. Uh, then I like to jump down, clear out the center room, and maybe one or two going up the slope. Then I'll come into this right wing, um, pull half of the entrance and then the top half which you see up top there's usually like two chests that spawn up there um, and then I'll go back across to the I guess left wing whatever you want to call it the other the other entrance to the inner cave I like to do this all in one pull it's the most efficient way to do it and you can kind of pull it pretty easy um, you use spells to body pull or you use spells to pull and your body aggro to pull uh, the only thing you have to worry about in each of the inner caves to the left and right each one has their own patrol and there's also a patrol that goes around the spiral up and down and um, yeah just watch the paths um, next we're gonna go to Alteric Mountains right up the way this is all back to back to back uh, you aim for the uh, mountain lions and the syndicates thieves and footpaths um, one and two, one, two, and three on the map that I've marked is Mountain Lions. Three and four is Syndicate. Uh, the number three has both. I just run, I clear one peak, go to the next peak, clear it, next peak, clear it, and then run all the way back. And they're all reset by that time. It, it's it's 
I don't know, it's, it's not popular, but that's what I used and it worked really efficiently. Um, I'm just tr kind of showing you, there's like a syndicate camp here. You can make one or two pulls. Then you got mountain lines behind them. You make us a pull, um, run over to the next peak. Uh, be wary, be wary of the, uh, Alliance alter zone. Cause the guys are like level 60 ish. If you get too close, they'll just pull and kill you because they're level 60 and it sucks. But yeah, um, each peak, you can make one or two pulls on the mountain lines. There's usually some at the bottom of the peak, some at the top of the peak. You'll figure it out as you, you know, get used to it and settled into the area. Not a big deal. Uh, for the next zone, we're actually going to go back across the map to Duswalla Marsh, to Witch Hill, and the Murloc Island, I like to call it. Uh, you got coast runners, mug dwellers. The only big thing you need to watch out for is the creeping mold that the mug dwellers will cast on you. One or two isn't a big deal, but when you pull seven mobs and you get five to seven debuffs, that 20 nature damage every 10 seconds stacks up and does a ton of damage, plus the damage you eat from the initial pull. So just be wary of that. Um, it does have like a small range, so if you kind of stay ranged and get away from them pretty quick, uh, you're not as likely to take as many. Um, the first pull I like to do around this palm tree, I'll sheep one guy and then I'll pull the rest around the palm tree. You know, I target left first, then right, and then center. So like I'll rank one fireball the left guy, rank one fireball a guy off to the right, and then I'll counterspell someone in the middle, and that usually gets them all to me about the same time. The second pull is the small hut to my right right now. Um, this is a very popular spot. I should have just let this guy die. You know, that's what I believe in. You know, that's how you get better and learn your lesson. Um, you know, you die. <laughs> but I went ahead and helped him out. Um, I didn't want to be ruthless in the video and everyone hate me for it. Like, oh, you're a fucking dickhead. Or maybe that guy's going to watch the video and, you know, talk shit. Who knows? Um, aside from that, you'll have the palm cleat palm tree cleared and then the second hut cleared and that's when you start implementing this third pull i like to try and get both these sets of huts in one pool um, there's two small groups at each hut you know the same method as the palm tree pool or anything else i like to start at the far left grab the far right counterspell something in the middle and maybe try and body pull a couple of extra maybe use arcane explosion if possible um, just trying to stay safe um, don't use mana shield just don't do it um, it's going to cause you to reset a lot more than not, and it's going to make you just better all around in how you pull. Um, if you run back up to Witch Hill, this small little slope, there's another good two to three pulls if you don't have a mount. Um, if you do have a mount, I like to just one pull it. So once you're level 40, you'll come back here with your mount. Um, I know you're thinking, oh, you know, they're lower level. It's not going to be any good. That's not true because you can pull way, way, way more each pull with your mount um, and kill them a lot faster because you'll be doing more damage, etc., etc. Um, if you're going to rank up your spells, uh, focus on your blizzard spells, your cone of cold spell, ice barrier spell, um, your mana gem spells, um, fireball and stuff you don't have to worry about, you know, arcane missiles, dampen magic, don't get any of that. It's just a waste of gold. Um, if you do go the shatter, route in your talents um you want to go ahead and grab flame strike as well that's pretty important um, a lot of people do it uh, when the mobs are very low health and they want to start splitting up and running away they'll frost over them they'll flame strike and cone of cold for a shatter combo it's really efficient it's really good um i don't like it as much just because you know everything gets you know, some, some of the abilities crit and some don't, and then everything's all out of whack. You know, the mobs don't have, like, very similar health pools anymore. It's all split up, and they go all different directions. Some survive, some don't. And it's just, it gets messy sometimes. But that's all I got for this. I know it wasn't as detailed, but I was just trying to get you guys content, where to go, you know, like, slight detailed how I pull stuff. Um, I'm going to... Be making videos a lot faster. I have my own guild on the server that I'm on, Thalnos Horde, um, and I, I try and raid. I try and you know GM stuff as well as balancing work and uh, creating videos at the same time. It's a lot, and I do apologize for not having content out as fast as I should have. 
but thank you guys for checking everything out i really appreciate you you, you leave awesome comments uh, if you have any recommendations let me know discord and twitch are in the links below i'll have more videos for you thanks man keep it classic baby